Hey guys, on today's tutorial, we're going to be updating your Mac to the latest OS. So this goes for any iMac, MacBook Pro out there, Mac Pros, Mac Minis, whichever that you have, it's the same process right here. So the very first thing I'm going to ask you guys to do is make a backup and that's using Time Machine. Just because with Time Machine, if you guys see that it slowed down your Mac too much or some apps that are essential to you do not work and will not work for a while, then you may want to come back to the older OS that you're at right now. So, very first thing we have to do is go right into your system preferences and go right into Time Machine. Time Machine is something that's installed on your Mac already. So here it is, let me just go back on it and let me just show you what it is. So if you go into system preferences, you will see Time Machine down here. It's something installed on all Macs and I would use this with an external hard drive. So if you guys have an external hard drive, make a backup right there using Time Machine. I do have a separate video showing you guys what Time Machine is and how to deal with that. Very easy setup. It's going to take a few minutes. The video is right here in my channel. So I'm not going to go through that process. However, I am going to show you that I am making a backup as we speak on my Mac. So if I go to Time Machine right now, I can see I actually have two Time Machines and they are are making their backup right now. So right now, this time machine is making my backup. This other time machine has already been done. So if I want to go back, I can do that. Time machine is also good to back up your entire computer. That includes all your files, photos, plus apps out there. The only thing that time machine doesn't back up are any passwords that you guys have for right here, your mail. So that you're gonna have to put in again, unluckily. Hopefully Mac will fix that later on. However, it does back up your entire computer, including the OS that you're at right now, which is great. After that, again, we're gonna have to go into system preferences. So that's down here below, or for most of you, <laughs> the easiest way to get to there is go on your top left-hand side of your computer screen, and you will see this Apple logo. Just click on your Apple logo, and then system preferences will be your second option. So let's just click on our second option. From there, we are gonna go into software update, which is in the third row down here below. For those of you who are way back in very old OS, then your update will not be here. Your updates will always be in your app store, okay? And that's how you guys can update from older, older OSs. However, right now, we can update right here from system preferences. So in system preferences, we're going to go in software updates like I showed you before. We're going to let this load and then we should see the newest Mac OS loading up very soon. So as always, the first step is downloading and then installing. However, make that back up as I mentioned. So if you guys click on more info, it's going to actually right here give you to this website <laughs> which just shows you exactly what's gonna happen with the newest mac os what are the new features and all that stuff it doesn't really give you step-by-step -step instructions although those are available right here on apple.com and down here below you will see other updates available you can click on more info and then you should see this safari 13.0.2 and pro video formats these are other updates that you should install right now on your mac as well so we're just going to click on upgrade now and the download will start. So it is 8 gigs. It does depend on your internet speed, how long this will take. For some of you, it could be 20 minutes, others 10 minutes. And if you have pretty slow internet, sure, this could take hours and hours if 8 gigs is a lot for you. It all depends on your internet speed at this point in downloading. The installation time. That depends on your Mac speed. So as long as your Mac has enough storage and it's running okay, this shouldn't take that long. All right guys, so once it's done downloading, you guys will see this window pop up. All we have to do is go into continue. Once we click on continue, you guys can read all of this stuff and just agree to it. Other than that, you can't really disagree with it or else you can't really update it. So let's just agree. We're going to choose whatever HD you guys have. So right now it's Macintosh. Yep. If you guys have a password code, it's going to ask you for that. If you don't have a password. Don't worry about it. That's okay. And there we go. About 13 minutes remaining on this installation, which is not exactly true because we have a long way to go. So this download, like I mentioned, if you guys had an error at first, 
and maybe everything downloaded and then you guys got an error, don't worry about it, just do it again. I'm sorry to say that, but sometimes when these things are brand new, um, so many people are downloading at the same time, that causes error sometimes. So you just have to do it again. I know it's annoying, but you guys might have to do that. After two to five minutes, you will see this ready to install. And all you guys have to do is click restart. Once you hit restart, if you guys have any apps open, it's going to try to close all those. And then you guys will see a black screen because it's turning off Apple logo and it's going to restart several times actually. So don't be afraid of that. You will see the Apple logo loading bar several times. And then finally, you'll come up to this part where you're almost done. You just have to click on share if you guys want to share and continue on. And from here, it's going to ask you screen time. You guys can set it up later or just continue on as well. So that would be it for the update, guys. You would see the setup that we just went through. Plus down here, you will notice changes right away. So for example, right now you guys have Apple TV, you guys have podcasts and music. So iTunes is no longer there. It's called music now. And there should be other differences, but these ones are the main ones that you will notice right away that have been added right here. Anyways, that would be it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.